Shadow Mystery Channel. As always, I am your host, Moon Shadow Mystery the Changeling. And don't worry. Hopefully we've got things sorted out. And you're seeing this episode clear. But anyways, everybody, welcome back. This is episode three of Moon Shadow Plays Fallout. New Pegasus. Or more accurately, Fallout New Vegas. With My Little Pony and Fallout Equestria mods. Now, as of recording this opening dialogue, I hadn't qu come up with an official name for the episode. Uh, however, oh, wrong way. As you saw before this, I more than likely have already given it a name making all this kind of moot and silly. <laughs> uh, but if you haven't seen the last one and just kind of jumped into this one to see what it was about, um, I actually had to cut what was originally episode two straight down the middle in order to make it fit in the time frame so it would upload and actually process properly. Again, I attempted to upload it as a complete unit before and it booted the connection before it finished. And for that, I apologize. On the bright side, I've done enough different things between the two halves of the episode that episode 2 and episode 3 should be pretty feasible together. Uh, now, I shouldn't really need to summarize much, but as you saw in episode 2... I did figure out the issue I was having from the first episode where I couldn't find my pony companions and I found them at the 188 juncture which is southeast of New Vegas northeast of Good Springs. Uh, the best way to find it actually is to go down past Prim through Nipton and up and around the bend that way. That's actually also the safest way to do it, to avoid death claws, casadors, etc. You will have to deal with legionaries, you will have to deal with raiders, and if you're really unlikely, like I've been down that way, super mutants and maybe even night stalkers, but trust me, it's still safer in the long run. But anyways, everypony, that's enough exposition. Why don't we just get this done and get it done? That's funny, I don't care who you are. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I apologize. Feed all them starving and pin me down there in New Guinea. <laughs> Sorry, I had to work in the Larry the Cable Guy thing just for kicks. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, every pony, let's get in, right into it. You've been waiting for it. I've been anxiously trying to get this done. So let's get right back into the fray. In five, four, three, two, one. We only got the modded load screen for a brief second. Seriously, we got cheated. And there it is, Blackjack. The only other pony I know of from Fallout Equestria that actually has a pit buck. We're gonna have them follow us. And yep. Yeah, our interactions with a lot of these people are really messed up, and that's not good. Ah, uh -huh, get the killing blue. Holy crap! Uh -huh. Why do I keep lighting him? Have grenades! I know he's gonna do it. 
and I give them to them anyway. What the hey am I thinking when I'm doing these things I do? I mean, seriously. Every time. I know he's gonna do it. Alright, now we're in Freeside. Now we're in the slums. Hey, you said hello to me. Bye. Don't you hello goodbye me. Hello because you say goodbye and I say hello. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. You say yes, I say no. You say stop. I say, I don't know. Will you say goodbye? And I say hello. I'm loving the... Yes, now we're actually getting a few of them. I'm loving these modified load screens. So much nicer. Everybody loves the king, baby. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Because you ain't nothing but a hound dog. I'm crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. I'm crying all the time. You ain't never gonna rap it, you ain't no old friend of mine. Only said you was high class, well that was just a lie. Only said you was high class, well that was just a lie. You ain't never gonna rap it, you ain't no old friend of mine. The name's old. Those bots are. Oh, yeah, his doll got messed up bad, which is too bad. Uh, we uh, thankfully can cheat our way through this since we got the caps uploaded. So we can pay to get in. Uh, normally, we would have to go through a thing with Mick and Ralph in order to get a fake ID in order to get through here. But thanks to that, we can actually enter the strip however we please. Uh, we're not going to do that though for the simple fact that I'm not quite ready to. I mean, technically I'm ready to. Howdy. You know, I'm just not really into doing it just yet. Uh, let's see, where do we want to do? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Do 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 that song. Anyone, I think anyone who's seen the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit is familiar with that song. I love that song. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Uh, there's actually an interesting thing that happens if you kill their pet rat. And if you notice, they're chasing it with a knife. So even though it's their pet, they those kids are actively trying to eat it. I mean, it's disturbing in its own way, but yeah... Okay, now let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. We chose Wild Wasteland early, as one of our perks when we started. Uh, you're probably not familiar with that because I skipped all that mess. But if you don't know what Wild Wasteland does, what it does is it allows some unique interactions. Now, unfortunately, we were having some issues with the first t attempt to record this before the official first upload so you didn't get to see the unique little 
thing that happens just outside of Good Springs. Uh, it's basically an Indiana Jones reference, specifically to the Crystal Skull where he ends up in the, the refrigerator from the blast, only instead of surviving it, he didn't. <coughs> Boo hoo. Too bad. So sad. The bright thing we have right here is aside from EDE, all of our companions are non story companions. So if we go to any DLC area, every single one of these ought to be able to follow us. And if not, I know for a fact that at least the storyteller and Edna will. Um seriously, any other time there'd be all kinds of enemies to fight. Hold on. Yeah, I'm actively wanting to fight something right now. So you know what we're going to do is we're going to go right down here. To Actually, I don't know where would be the fastest way to get to it. We're going to go to Vault 19. Yeah. We may end up trying that trolley car out. But we're going to go... And we're going to see just how well we do against the whole of the Death Claws, monster mods and all. So there's actually a way to get through there, through here. All we really have to do is go this way and go up that little path. Hey, the ones we killed before are still here. Huh. Usually they de-res by now. I just find that interesting because... You know, you, you never get lucky like that. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone, without a beat in my heart, without a love of my own. Blue moon, you know just what I was there for. You see me saying a prayer for someone I really could care for. And then suddenly appears before me the only one my arms would hold. You like that? I whispered, somebody please adore me. When I looked, the moon had turned to gold Blue moon Now I'm no longer alone Without a beat in my heart Without a love of my own You like that? Okay, in the last episode of this, I pointed out the fact that these monster mod death claws didn't resemble the typical ones that to me it looked like they were like young ones of an alpha uh, but the more I look at them the more they look more like a young matriarch except for maybe the spikes on the Come tails on. yeah because yeah, a normal one didn't have that but yeah you can tell a distinctive difference between the two now oh what do we have here what do we have here one of the mods monsters from the mod are supposed to be Wanamingos, which are from Fallout 2. And I think we may have finally found a couple. I've active... Yes! Wanamingos! Fallout 2 Wanamingos. And they're running away. That's unexpected. Are they leading us to an ambush? Looks like they are. But seriously, we have Wanamingos and they're actively trying not to fight. Uh-oh. We got Death Stalkers. Crap! You may be wondering what just happened. Um, one of the monster mods just happens to be a creature known as the quote unquote Death Stalker. The quote unquote Death Stalker is actually a Deathclaw Night Stalker hybrid. Uh, so essentially, every swipe of it is like getting a super dose of Night Stalker venom. Which is not something I expected. It definitely caught me off guard, because uh, I, again, I wasn't expecting it. I had no idea that was going to happen. 
but honestly, I'm more, you know, stoked about the fact that we actually got a Wanamingo encounter. I was hoping we'd get a Wanamingo encounter, um, but I didn't exactly have, like, my hopes up about it. Uh, I know, kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to head back to the quarry now, only this time we're going to go the semi-safe way. As you saw, we got went to Gene's Skydiving. Mean, we could have gotten there from Good Springs. Uh, only this way, we have kind of a direct path because we just got to follow the road. We don't have to cut through the hills and whatnot. Um, we could have our interaction with the Powder Gangers since right now we're not aggressive with them. Whoa, something's aggressive. Okay, I have not had any issues with the powder gangers before, so I don't know why all of a sudden they were hostile to me just now. That is actually kind of a new one on me. But... Okay, so maybe those two weren't straight up powder gangers, maybe they were... Okay. Some say it other than Okay, for those who don't know, Malcolm Holmes is actually responsible for getting you started on The Legend of the Star. Essentially the little mini quest where you find the Sunset Sasperilla Star bottle caps. Once you get fifty of them, you head to the Sunset Sasperilla bottling plant right near Camp McCarran. And you can talk to a mechanical cowboy named Festus. Now, be warned, if you do get 50 stars and give them to Festus, he will shut down permanently afterwards. Which means no chance to play Caravan, Lucky Horseshoes, or anything else with them. That would be the end of it. I found that out the hard way, and unfortunately, yeah. Nope. Uh, we could easily kill that guy and get what two or three stars he has on him. Uh, we're not interested in collecting caps right now. Um, what we are going to do, though, is go over here to this dead caravan Brahmin. Yeah, they don't have anything worthwhile. There is actually a little den of coyotes nestled into this little turned-over truck trailer. And we're going to go ahead and eliminate them, because we don't have the animal friend per... And holy crap, these are not... Yeah, there was one coyote amongst the bunch. Okay, for those who do not know... The Feral Merc is for the monster mod. Essentially what it is, is like a in-between. It's, um, it's like a mercenary who started to go feral from... Like, ghoulification. But hasn't gotten there yet. So they're like... They're almost like trogs. They move like trogs, they act like trogs. Even though they're still wearing bits of tattered mercenary garb. For... For pretty much they are troglodytes. And they're fairly weak for the most part. You know, you can usually take them out with just a handful of shots. And we're already kind of getting closer to the hour 15 mark where the last one was, so we may try and end it before then. But before we end this video, I definitely want to go down here and see how well we can last against these Death Claws. Uh, actually, if we're going to be doing that, I'd better swap from the Gehenna to something better. Crap, we have no mini nukes, so that's doing us no good. Um, was that? Dang, that was the only one we got for that. Uh, well, we at least got some more grenades. Let's see here. We need something decent, something decent, something decent, something decent, something decent. Uh, da -da -da -da. Anti material rifle, that will work. We're going to go down here and get this Bright Brotherhood robe. Microfusion cells, plasma rifle. We're going. I'm sorry, Mim. We're going to enhance our own. 
There we go. Much better, health-wise. Hopefully we won't have any issues with interactions with any other NPCs on the way to this place. Because after we kill these death claws, if we survive the experience, we may actually turn um, from west to east toward Black Mountain and see about killing us some super mutants. Well, killing us some bad super mutants. They move. We have you. 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 Alright, that guy basically, he's an NCR contractor and he just gave us the warning about the death claws. Uh, yeah, unfortunately there was nobody to warn us about the Cazadors. Um, now, I had already played this game several times before and tried de several different paths. The safest way is actually going south and then going west and then north, following along the road from Good Springs. Um, the Cazador Nest is actually probably the most dangerous path aside from the Death Claws. With a little bit of luck, you can maneuver around the Death Claws. The Cazadors, on the other hand, are faster and venomous. We got a young death claw. Okay, I am not very stable. We have the fact oh the fact that we have a whole bunch of companions right here to the fact that we didn't get ripped to pieces just now. <laughs> And wow, there was actually more death claws than that, so something killed these two before we got here. Wasn't this powder ganger though? Okay, something has interfered with the standard system, and he is out of his ammunition. Okay, that's not good. Usually, companions in Fallout New Vegas have unlimited ammo. For some reason, he does not. So, let's see what we can do to help him out here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we give him that we don't really care for. Okay, something better than a 10 millimeter. I mean, really. I mean, I could do that and be the jerk, but no. Okay, you know, just... Um, we are going to give him this mini newt, the, oh, newt launcher, because we don't really need it. Let's see, we've got a service rifle that's been upgraded. Uh, well, we don't really have anything useful we can give them. That's the bad part. Crap! I should have known better than to give him... downside is if the companions aren't working right then they're all going to eventually run out of ammunition and that's not good for us which means there could be a conflict between our various mods Oh, 
if I did not just shoot one of my allies. Yeah, sorry about that, everybody. Um, I get a little bit caught up in the moment, but yeah, we are not doing so hot. We're going to swap to our plasma rifle, because even though the anti-material rifle is very strong, it's not very good in this situation. I mean, we've been being saved by our allies quite a bit. I mean, I expected as much to happen. And we're going to need it because this area is home to one of the two Deathclaw Matriarchs. They're originally just called the Mother Deathclaws, but. Well, we knew that was a possibility, didn't we? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, all right. After we reload, we're probably going to head back to the I-88, 188, whatever it is, um, because I still want to try out that handcart. I've never encountered it before. I don't know if it's something that um, was given to me by one of the mods, or if it's just something I never paid any attention to prior. I'm assuming it's a mod thing, because I highly doubt that an in-game mechanism like that would offer to take us to a spot we've never been before. If this works well, then we can fast travel even if we're loaded down, which, <laughs> let's be honest, we're probably never going to get loaded down with the carry weight I have given us. But with all these companions, we are definitely set for life, basically. But since it gives us the option, let's head to the Nellis base and hope we don't get killed. Because they've got howitzers and I don't want to die. Holy cow, it took us into the base. I figured it would take us outside the base. Wow, we managed to bypass a lot of stuff by doing that. I'm not seeing any of the Nellis people. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Nellis front gate real quick. So we can get all the dialogue options and all out of the way. And officially discover this place. <laughs> There's actually a guy who you'll you encounter if you do the right way. <laughs> He'll actually make a wager with you, and it costs a lot of caps to take him up on it. But if you do it and you have a high enough speech chat, you can get double your money back, if not more. So it's a good way, if you know the strategy on how to successfully get up here, to earn a whole heck of a lot of caps. Uh, unfortunately, I can take care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. Okay, the bright side is we aren't getting any negativity out of this. The downside is it hasn't allowed us to discover Nellis that way. Uh, so we're going to proceed back to the north gate. So this video is probably going to be a little bit longer. Hmm. I guess it's kind of random as to if we get a modded one of those or not. Oh, I said north gate. I thought I clicked east gate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we're not going down in the sewers right now. What? Who are you shooting at? And where is Trixie and Fluttershy going off to? Hey, I always have this problem. I, I swear, I do. Well, Trixie is still being Trixie and going wherever the heck she's going! 
Trixie? Great and powerful pain in my flank! Oh, great. Now she's... Yeah, now that you've gotten a... Rabies tainted Brahmin ticked off at you, you're coming back. Uh, I don't know why I'm surprised. Well, since it is a mad Brahmin and has rabies, the best thing we can do is put it down. I think even Fluttershy would agree on that one. I know Fluttershy doesn't like to hurt animals. But if they have rabies, then they've got to be put down. For their own good and for the good of every other creature around them. Hmm. I think we could go ahead and discover the medical center out this way. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's do that, because we can get some implants. If our stats are high enough, uh, we pretty much have neutral stats, so I don't know how many we'll actually be able to get. <laughs> Uh, but these implants will give us some major stat bonuses. Well, okay, not major, but significant. And this mad Brahmin slaughtered more at farm. Yes, with beef supplies being rare, because Brahmin be needed to haul around gear, mole rat tends to be the food of choice. Don't let Ron Stoppable find out. For those who don't know, Ron Stoppable is the sidekick from the Kim Possible um, animated series. His best friend is a naked mole rat named Rufus, who these creatures are evolved from. Alright, what we want right now is... Hmm. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey. It okay, that subdermal armor will actually increase our damage tolerance and make us a little bit more durable. Uh, now... All right. Now we're going to see if I get the regenerative ability. That's... Now, I don't know exactly how many of these we're going to be able to get today. Um, we're going to get as many of them as we can get. Uh, right. What we're going to do now is bolster our strength. Kind of pointless at this point, but we're going to do it see. anyway. We've got the caps, and we've got the health, so we're going to get as many as we can get. Alright, now we're going to boost our endurance. If we can get, we're essentially becoming a cyborg at this point. All these implants are majorly beneficial to us. Alright, now we want to boost our perception. This is especially important for me and my OC, since we're visually challenged. Very poor eyesight. Have a seat in the Even though my OC's eyes are rainbow. And beautiful, that's, they unfortunately have the negative drawback of being very poor. Alright, All right. now what we're going to do is we're going to get the intelligence booster. And if we can get the rest of them right now, we're going to go ahead and do it, because that will evening really give us a big bonus. And now we're going to go ahead and get our luck improved. That'll increase our chance of getting rare items, caps, etc. It'll also improve our odds if we decide to hit the casinos. Hello. We only got two more left. We're going to go ahead and get the Charisma Booster. That'll increase our ability to sway people to do what we want, pass speech, che che speech checks, etc. And now here's our final one. This is going to boost our agility and make our ability to maneuver around the wasteland a whole lot easier. And yeah, we're beyond previous mark from the last video, uh, so I do apologize for that fact. But it'll be worth it. Alright, we are done. Now let's see if we can get around all these companions so we can get back out the door.
All right. Whoa, who's shooting? Or is that something else going on? I don't know. I do not coming out and hearing that sound. That's like, what? I'm still hearing it. That is a distinctive energy weapon sound. I don't know what, who's shooting what, where they're at, or anything else, but... If it's coming from anywhere near the gun runners, we do not want to be near it. <laughs> no, we do not. Alright, we're going to attempt to do a quick thing while we're traveling. My name is Moonshadow, and I am here to say I'm traveling the wasteland, killing raiders in my way. It doesn't matter now. Hey there! If you are sad or blue. Cause living in a wasteland would make you feel that way too. <laughs> okay, so something's wrong here. Uh, hold on. Perks of games here. Yeah, we've got the Wild Wasteland perk. There's actually supposed to be a well around here. Like, right here, as a matter of fact. With a unique encounter, unfortunately, it's not showing. That could very well be another issue with the... mods okay yeah even our dialogue with him is messed up oh well we're going to risk it uh, I actually know the best way of getting through here so we're going to fire luck we're gonna hug the wall and pray 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 we don't die I think because we kind of cheated nope No, 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 no. And boom goes the dynamite. Whew. Okay, we made it. We only had to use two stem packs. That's a bonus. I thought for sure we were doing a lot better than that. But yeah, we... That is a pain. I tried cutting straight across the first time I ever came up here. And... Uh, let's just say it did like... 10 times of trying before I finally looked it up and realized what I was doing wrong. Okay, yeah, there's something, there's definitely something wrong here. The guy, the person who usually runs up and interrogates us is not here. This is definitely an issue with the mod unfortunately I don't know if they will ret start crap okay they do they do they do not good Uh, we're going to try fast traveling and see if we can find that person to initiate this. Oh no! It put us out here! It put us out here! That is not good! That is not good! Let me in! 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 Oh crap! I am too young to die! Yeah, we're, che we're essential team, but we kind of have no other choice in this case. If 
for whatever reason, it was not working. Uh, so basically right now what we're going to, I know we were here once already, um, for some reason that boomer guard's the only one we're seeing, and there's really supposed to be like three or four others. Again, I don't know if it's the mods, I don't know if it was the trolley car, whatever. But we're going to come up here and pray, pray, pray that Mother Pearl, no that is not a Steven Universe reference, that is her name. We're going to pray Pearl is in her sweet because if she's not then we are toast and not toast of the town not french toast not warm and toasty no burnt toast extra crispy d e d dead so yes, we're going to go meet Mother Pearl, just as if this was normal, and pray that her dialogue still works. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know who Colonel Blightwell is. We're going to do a new save real quick because we're going to try and steal that. Yeah, we lost karma, but we weren't detected. Yeah, the mystery of the perfect condition but non-functioning terminal. Yeah, we... I don't know what's going on with that. It's got to be an issue with the mod. I don't know. Unfortunately, and I don't know why, some of these mods are really screwing with us. We may not even be able to... I've not even been to the Premontory. Why is that marked already? Like, seriously, I've not been anywhere over here, and yet the Premontory is already accessible. Well, every pony, we already saved up, so why don't we end this and pray to God we don't die? <laughs> We're probably going to because I don't have any weapon. Oh no, I've only got a few stealth stim packs. I'm, we're definitely going to die. But see, super debuff means not good thing. For some reason, I thought it shot farther than that. There we go. That's more what I was expecting. I guess because not pneumatically launched like the Fat Man, it didn't go as far. You might be wondering, what are we doing out here, knowing that we're going to die? Deathstalker. Whew. Yeah, this is definitely a dangerous place to be at. And you're probably asking, dude, if it's that dangerous, what are you doing here? Uh oh, Wanamingo. Where's that Death Stalker at? I've got to show you guys this thing. See, look at this. Not, 
This is a brilliant blend of the two into one monstrous beast. That is like Fallout 4 levels of what were you thinking? Seriously. I'm pretty sure this mod is what inspired the Gator Claw. Alright, we're nearing the hour and a half mark. Uh, we're actually pretty close to why we came out this way since it was already marked. Uh oh. Okay, I'm so sorry, Flutters. I promise that was not on purpose. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. just found out why we couldn't interact with Veronica. I think Twilight was put on Veronica's model. So even though Twilight is not technically Veronica, it's qualifying her as if she were. Wow, we wasted a lot of those, didn't we? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we got? 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 Those are. Wow, my aim is horrible. This is like my Fallout level 3 bad, as far as my aim. Crap! Holy crap! Two Deathclaw Mothers in one space. That is... Good. Whoa. Well, I wanted to end this on a bang. I did not get to show you what I wanted. Um, essentially, one of the mods I have, if I even have it active would have placed a Fallout 4 style T-60 armor down there that we could actually get in and maneuver in like a vehicle just like as if this was Fallout 4. Um, unfortunately we got killed by two Deathclaw Matriarchs that I was not expecting to be there. Um, I don't know if I forgot they were there or what but that surprised the ever-loving heck out of me. Uh, so what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna save this like right here now. Um, and we are going to call this video to a close. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. If you liked episode two of Moonshadow Plays Fallout New Pegasus, let me know down below by click bro hoofing that like button. If you didn't, that's okay. You can go ahead and, and frag grenade that dislike button, and I'll be perfectly okay with it. Uh, let me know your comments in the comment section, your thoughts, your opinions, your ideas, your suggestions, your critique. Anything you want to talk to me about, ask me, inform me about, let me know down there in that comment section. And that includes requests for anything similar to what I've done on the channel or anything that I've not done yet. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. If you've decided that this channel is one you want to follow and you want to see what new projects we got out, on a regular basis. If you want notified on that, click that notification bell icon. If you're still not sure if this is maybe only your first or second time visiting the channel, that's okay. Feel free to click my name above the video description in order to go to the main channel and see what other projects we've been working on and got uploaded for you. Um, we do have plenty more in store, and yes, even though I keep putting it off, I've not sure what to do yet. I'm actually considering waiting until the season 7 mid-season hiatus is done to start doing reviews again so I can start on a fresh hoof. N not really sure just yet. Um, but we got reaction videos, reviews, first thoughts videos, other let's plays, impersonations, attempts at song covers, and various other shenanigans that I've been up to and have posted to the channel so feel free to go check those out. Anyway, we are beyond the hour and a half mark at this point, everypony. But thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, feel free to let me know down in the comment section what you thought of this Let's Play video and what suggestions you might have for future projects. And yeah, I know there are other My Little Pony mods, um, the Gardens of Equestria and the like that I have, n that I have actually had before. Um, I uninstalled them prior to starting these videos. 
uh, because I thought that they were responsible for some of the things going wrong. And I'm hoping that it ain't just that. I hope my Fallout New Vegas pl game hasn't gotten corrupted somehow. If so, then we are going to have some issues. I may reinstall them before Episode 3 so we can check out some new stuff that's more Fallout Equestria style. Uh, but anyway, th to me, this has been a fun video. Way more entertaining than the last one, in my opinion, I think. Because we got so much more going with us. Uh, I'm actually glad to see some of these mods are working as they should, even if not always consistently. Definitely entertaining. But again, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we will see you right here next time on the Moon Shadow Mystery Channel. Same changeling time, same changeling channel. And as always, everypony, don't go changing for anyone but yourselves. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, sorry, I know I already said that. But hopefully we will see you next time. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.